Shalom, Yashorala. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakrash, the Barnash of the Apostles, and the other great Muslim, who were one who taught us the truth. And salutations to all the Akim, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity. This is um, about April 8th in the Devil's Comet. When the sky darkens during the total solar eclipse, on April 8th, a celestial sideshow could pop into view. The Devil Comet, otherwise known as 12P forward slash Ponds Brooks, may be visible about two fists distance from the sun according to time. All right, so clearly there's a sign in the heavens, man. All right, like how, how rare is this? You know what I'm saying? You, know, you, at least in your lifetime as an adult, you hear of lunar eclipse, solar eclipse, you know what I'm saying? But now with a devil's comet passing by, all right, and, and this eclipse uh, marking an X, all right, through America, because the first one I uh, went through a bunch of places uh, named Salem, and, and this new one that's coming is going through a bunch of a bunch of places named uh, Nineveh. All right, you know. So hey, these are these are some serious times that we're living in. All right, uh, uh, great proportion. This is uh, Matthew chapter sixteen, verse one. The Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and tempting desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. All right, because these people, they need to see it or believe it, you know. It is verse 2, he answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say, it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but can ye... But can you not discern the signs of the times? So basically, our people, they could tell you what the weather's going to be like, you know? But they can't tell you the times that we're living in. And we're living in the end. All right? And that's why we we're, we got to continue to make these these videos these epistles all right this is how we speak uh, often one to another is by making these lessons to each other for the elect all right because they're going to have the ear to hear they're going to understand these things you see <laughs> we're not in darkness you know what i'm saying <laughs> as the scripture says oh this is uh Verse 4, a wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto it but the sign of the prophet Jonas, and he left him and departed. So the Lord is saying, that I'm not going to give you no sign, all right? Not the sign that you want, right? But I'm going to give you the sign of Jonas, which they have today. It's the prophets, man. That's what the sign of Jonas is, is the prophets, the men on the highways and byways, wearing them long garments with the fringes, all right? I'm talking about the men of the great millstone, you see, because hey, we are the men of the Lord. We got 100% truth, all right? We're out there week in and week out, all right? Standing stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you know? So, because there's other ones too out there, you know, there's other camps, all right? <clears throat> but we got 100% truth. This is Luke 21 and 9. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified. For these things must first come to pass. But the end is not yet. But the end is not by and by. You see? So these rumors of wars and wars that are happening. Alright? Because here in America, Babylon the Great. You know, they have us, um, they, you know, pretty much in darkness. They don't give the American people all the truth. 
all right they, they twist everything to their narrative and make everyone else look like the bad guy you know what I'm saying and our people eat it up they watch this news and believe it all right but look we're gonna hear about these things and we'll, eventually we're gonna go through these things the third world is upon us and it's coming here it's gonna be on US soil on Babylonian soil all right the place of unwalled villages is here America will be invaded by foreign troops all right and then and even then get nuked all right because America's allies will turn on her they'll hate the whore and burn her with fire as the scripture says man this is this is the times that we're living in man and, and this is a great sign in the heavens that's approaching on April 8th that we're about to witness you see because hey the elect are the ones standing upon their watch you know what I'm saying and we're seeing what the Lord is saying to us man a time like no other is coming Jacob's trouble all right uh, Luke 21 and 10 then he said unto them nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines and pestilence and fearful sights and great signs there be from heaven from heaven from above man and there's a great sign man this this uh, eclipse that's coming on April 8th the devil's coming on top of that man and it's so spiritual that it is called the devil's coming you see the Lord's showing you in the sky that the devil is coming to strike, man. He's making his move. All right? Because he knows he has but a short time. That's why you see the, the top elites of their society, of the Edomite society. The, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're doing what? They're building bunkers. They're building deep underground military bases. All right? To escape the judgment that the Lord's bringing but they can't escape, man. They will be the first fruits of slaves for us. All right? So it's all going by design. And these things are written in the Bible. All right? You want a sign? It's in the scriptures, man. And guess what? The, the men of the Lord, the men of great millstone, eh, are speaking those things, man. You see? Because it's the Lord speaking it through his men. As he said before, that he speaks to uh, 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 his prophets. All right? And there's going to be a time like no other, man. And that's why we tell Jake to, to repent, to get right. Because uh, the, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. This revelation, chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, which is the deceiver, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. All right? Esau is wiser than Daniel, it says. All right? So they know what's going on. They're watching. All right? So they believe and tremble, man. And they see that their end is coming near so they're going to hasten all right to establish their new world order all right but hey the lord's not going to allow it man all right the, lord, the lord's going to make a rain on him while he's eating while he thinks uh you know his uh, uh he thinks his moves are going to come to pass yeah no the lord's going to disappoint him man you know what i'm saying these Edomites are going down. And they're going down in this lifetime, man. This is it. Okay? And he's coming down with great wrath upon you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians. All right, the speckled bird, Israelite foreigners. You see? You're the number one target. Starting with those that know Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? That know that we're the Israelites. See, 
But if you're still living wickedly, you will not be protected. All right? Because hey, he's coming down with great wrath and judgment's going to begin at the house of the Most High. And it's going to begin with those that know. All right? That's why it's important to have the fear of the Lord and, and to move with that fear. You see? Because it's more than just knowing that we're Israelites. We have to live as an Israelite. All right, every day, and it's not a grievous, it's, it's a beautiful thing, man. You see, but a, a lot of Jakes that know are really two thirds, and they take they take the they take this thing for granted. You see, but we're not dumb of the night, man. We're, we're of the day, so this thing's not gonna take us. Like a thief in the night, you see. Because we stay upon our watch. This is uh, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? You don't obey this good news of the Most High. You know? So, it's like, it's, it's better you didn't know about this. So a lot of you are going to be beaten with many stripes. You see, as the scripture says, many have been called, but few are chosen. You know, verse 18, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? All right. Where the elect are going to scarcely be saved, man. All right. We're going to be in positions of, of difficulty. All right, yeah. Posi positions that seem like there is no way out, okay? And Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to make a way out. Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to deliver us and protect us in these evil last days, man. You see? That's the whole thing, you know, it's the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Hey, we're going to be delivered, man. You know, Lord will we endure to the end. We hold on to the faith. We hold on to the ground. We're going to be saved. You know, and that's why we have to build each other up. We got to build the elect up so we can stand firm in that day and not fold. You know, we have to do all to stand boldly in that day, man. You know, so use this time wisely. And don't be afraid. Don't be terrified from the things uh, that are written to come. All right? Because it ultimately, it's not for us. It's not for the elect. This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For the Most High hath not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. When you have a sound mind, you're cool, calm, and collected, man. All right, a uh, situation arises and your mind's working on problem solving, not worrying and folding, you know. That's being like uh, like a woman, being soft and emotional. You see? Nah, man, we're the men of the Lord. All right? The king's men. You see, the men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh we represent the king, our father, man. All right, the creator of heaven and earth. Remember who you work for, brothers. All right? Because like I said, hey, all this that's coming is for the wicked of our people. It's for two-third knuckleheads, man. They're stiff-necked and hard-headed. They refuse to hear the words of Yahweh Bashim el -Shai. You know? That's why they're going to get destroyed. But the Lord's going to come back and, and, and put his hand out and and save us again. But only the remnant that are escaped from these things that we're talking about. This is Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 40, verse 9. Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked. And for their sakes came the flood. That was verse 10. These things are created for the wicked. And for their sakes came the flood. You see? Because their hearts, their minds were uh, continually wicked, man. 
and this time it's gonna be fire all right that's what the lord he, he gave us the rainbow saying that he would never flood the earth again that was his promise his covenant all right that's what the rainbow really means you see but this time around it's gonna be fire man all right so much fire and destruction that it's gonna shake the earth to and fro like a drunkard okay america will be wiped out all five thousand square miles of it the land of israel will also get hit with fire because that place is defiled with the, the dirty ass edomites all right and ishmaelites that shouldn't be there none of them should be there all right well he's going to deal with them all right he's going to cleanse this place refresh it you see and knowing all these things, you know, we, we got to be doing better. You know, our conduct has to be on point. You know what I'm saying? Because then, hey, the Lord is going to save us. All right? And that's why it's important to read the scriptures and look at the generations of old. And see. Because Esau is like a, a roaring lion, man. He, he's trying to devour who he can. He's trying to make us fall and slip. Especially those that are close to Yahweh Hashem. All right, hey, because the, the the greater you get in this thing, man, the, the the demons ramp up. All right, but as you grow and learn in this truth, you should be getting stronger as well to rebuke these spirits with fasting and prayer. All right, you know what I'm saying, and and knowing the Hebrew. There's more power in the Hebrew, so you rebuke him. In the Hebrew, you know, you rebuke Satan and keep him moving, man. You know? Because ultimately it's Yahweh Bashim Shai that's going to deliver us. Right? Just like uh, he did with, with Daniel. You know? This is uh, the book of Daniel, chapter 6, verse 27. He delivereth and rescueth. And he worketh signs and wonders in heaven and in earth, who hath delivered Daniel from the power of the lions. So, if the Lord can deliver Daniel, who is in the midst of lions, all right, and stop their mouths, you see, come on, the Lord could deliver us from anything, man. And he will. You see, that's his promise, man. And that's what comforts us, is his word that he is faithful and true. All right, he's not a man that should lie. All right, that's why we need to stand firmly on this man, deeply rooted, unmovable, unwavering. All right, not doubting at all the power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. His arm is not sure that he cannot save. All right, uh, he, he's not deaf where he can't hear. You see. Yahweh Bashim Shai is the ultimate power, the only power, man. And he's the power of Israel. He's our power, you see? So that should give us great confidence in the Lord, all right? And when you read about him, you know, you see all these things he's done. And you see the things that he's done in the past, all right? From the generations of old, those were us back then. You know what I'm saying? He's delivered us before, brothers, and he's going to do it again in these last days, man. And it's going to be even greater because at the end, his name is going to be magnified throughout the whole earth. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukhakurash. Every knee shall bow and know Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. They're going to know the, 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 who, who the God of the Israelites are and who the Israelites are in, in general, man. Who the Lord's people, who his, uh, truly who, who are his people, man. You see? So all we got to do, brothers, is, you know, hold on to this truth and watch and wait and do the work. All right. And be excited, brothers. Be excited. Be rejoicing about these things. We are at the end. All right. We're about to see the kingdom of Israel restored back to us. All right. And Lord willing, we're the first fruits, the elect. This is Luke chapter 21, verse 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man.
All right, because we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, and he's going to reward us according to our deeds, whether they be good or evil. All right, so repent because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right, and it's for you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, and the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners, because we've been scattered to the four corners of the earth. So we're going to have Israelites look like the other nations, man. All right. This is a spiritual thing. Don't be carnal. And with that, I hope this lesson was edifying and exhorting again. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakrash, the bonds to the apostles and others, great millstone, who rule one who taught us this truth and salutations to all the Akim, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity. Shalom. Kwam Yashra.